Shout out M Easy and tune in to the sit down. Guys, do it easy. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. This is the sit down. It's your main man, M Easy, and all that. And across from me is Detroit's own Cash Doll. What's up? How's everything? Everything is great. Listen, I, I, I was a fan. I want to say, I want to say, last year or two years ago, my 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 cameraman Fats was in here listening to I think a mixtape of yours. Okay. I was like, who is that? He goes, some chick from Detroit. I said, shut the fuck up. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so then that's when I started to follow you. I was like, she's dope for real. That's why I tried very hard to get you up here for a while. And oh. I want to say thank you for finally oh, you blessing for us me. with yeah, your presence. I appreciate y'all for having me. My mail uh, was basically a project that I gave to my fans. So I was in a situation for two years where I couldn't release any music. Like what? the mixtape that you probably heard was out for like two days and it got took down. Oh. You know, some fans kept it. You know, they already downloaded it to their phone, so you couldn't take it back. But mm -hmm. I wasn't able to release music for two years. What was Why was that? I was in a crazy situation locally. And, um, you know, just when you don't know any better, you kind of get yourself. You got to learn through experience. But mm -hmm. I've just been released from that, like, in December, January. -ish. Okay. So all that time when I was releasing some music, I just couldn't, I, I mean, I couldn't keep it out. So... My fans heard some of it in the backgrounds of my music and stuff. So I'm like, I'm going to just give this to them because I'm working on my album. I'm going to just get them all the old stuff and get it out the way because it's still music and it's mm -hmm. still good music. But it's just not where I'm at now. But I just want to get it out the way to give them that because, you know, they rolled it out with me all that time. Gotcha. They kept me relevant. All right. Cash, cash Dolls in the building. It's your main man, M-Easy. Um, now, tell me, I forget what I seen. And you were upset that they gave, I think, Cardi B. Oh, and it was the Spirit of Detroit Award. Yes, talk to me why, about that. Only reason I was, I wasn't upset at her. It was uh, my city, because it's like... No, I understand I was, that wholeheartedly. I, I, I remember, like, I felt you on that. I was like, yeah, why is it, it a big like, deal? Why why are we giving awards for Detroit to people that are not here? Yeah, and then, you know, the, the Spirit of Detroit Award is where you do community service. You know, like, I've sent, like, 30 girls to prom off. I've, uh, you know, I did free shows at home. Mm -hmm. I've, I've, um, I've rented out theaters and let them come watch movies. And I had just got mine last year where, you know, she came and, and this is her job. You know, she came and got a bag and did a show. And it was like, well, what did she do to earn this? Because it's other artists that was mad. And I don't, I'm the only person that had a voice for them. So mm -hmm. I had to speak up like, well, why did y'all think that that was okay? It yeah. wasn't nothing against her because she's supposed to accept it and did what she did. I have nothing against her. It was with the people. And when it came out and it was all over the news because I said something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it came out that the, the counselor didn't even sign off on it. Somebody at the radio station just gave it out. And, like, you just can't do that because you're not just giving uh, it out to the artists around our city. They're devaluing the award. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So we felt some type of... Well, I, I felt some type of way, even though I already have one. It was nothing against her. It was just... Against the people that were giving the awards out. Like, yeah, because they do that, you know? Like, I, I said something when they did They did it to... They did it to every... They did it to a couple people, and it was just like, okay, it didn't get as big, but it was something because... Cardi's a female rapper. And I'm a female rapper, and people probably want to see how I felt about her anyway. So they probably just took it was like, oh, it's big because Cash said something about Cardi, but exactly. I've said something before. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So and it's just an issue. So that was it. It was nothing more, none less. You know. So how are you feeling about the the the, the women in, in rap right now? Because it feels like Nicki's out here getting it, and Cardi's out here red hot. I just want us all to just you know, just be it, just like the fellas. It don't have to be so much separation. I don't think it's that much different. Mm -hmm. I think niggas is hating on each, on each other too. Right, we probably just don't see it. You it's know probably what I'm just because exactly. Yeah, you know, and probably just because it is such a short amount of women that we can tell. Because mm -hmm. it's not that many. Exactly. Because you know, exactly. so many guys we can't tell. So that's why I'm like, well, why we can't be like the guys? But when you think about it, it's not that many of us women. So we probably just see it all. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I think they're doing their thing. they opening up doors for me. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Look, now, now um, how was rap always your passion? Always. Ever since I was a little girl, I used to write poems. Who was the some of the artists you looked up to as a little girl? Uh, like as far as rap artists, yeah, Lauren artists. Oh, uh, you know I love Miss Beyonce. Mm. Everybody yeah, loves Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, you know she's like mm -hmm. overall the greatest to me. Uh, Lauren Hill for sure. Um, uh, Fab. Mm -hmm. Rick Ross. I like Rick Ross. I like the boss and Rick Ross. I like Fab whole everything. Um, Trina. Okay. Yeah. Nikki right. too. Yeah. Cash Dolls in the building. This is the sit down. It's your main man, yeah. M-Easy. Give me three things that people don't know about you, that you wish they did because they they have you pegged wrong. I'm humble. Okay. All right. That's uh, one. I'm a sweetheart. Okay. 
time that not everybody know that bitch. I don't know that. <laughs> Doesn't everybody know that? They should. You better. <laughs> okay. But I'm going to put that out there just in case. Everybody know I'm goofy. I don't know you goofy. How are you goofy? Goofy what? how? What? Goofy like how? Kid. Go ahead, give, give me something. Let what me are you talking about? I don't even know what this is. That's just who I am. I mean, but that's for people that watch like my Insta Snap, my Snapchat, my story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm goofy, you know, and I'm, I love hard. I have freckles. Where? <laughs> under the makeup. Oh, under the makeup. Okay, okay. I'm like, I don't see no freckles. I have freckles. Um, <laughs> so, give me a moment that was a very surreal moment for you in your career. Like, I always tell the story about the first day I got on air here from trying so hard. After I turned the mic off after my first show, I sat in here and cried like a baby because I finally did it. Give me a moment in your career where you feel like, I can't believe this moment actually happened to me. I have a few. Um, it's even when I opened up for Drake. Oh, dope. Uh, that was crazy because I was going through what I was going through as far as the contract situation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he came to me at a moment where I was so down because I couldn't believe music and I just felt like my career was going downhill. And he still just came and he's Drake. Mm -hmm. And he came and asked me to open up for him in my DM. So, okay. All right. Was it... I, I'm a creep. So, was the DM like... Did you see Drake in the DM like, Damn, what is Drake doing in my DM? Or, oh, shit, Drake's in my DM. It's, oh, shit. Because, you know, I have a different respect level. Guys don't come at me like that. At first, he told me happy birthday. I didn't catch it. And then I, when I went to go look to DM him to ask him that he was coming to my city, I was asking for tickets for my friend. It's a crazy story because my friend, I always act like I'm friends with people that I love, like Drake. Like, yeah, he's somebody I look up to. So I always act like, yeah, that's my friend. I talk to him all the time because <laughs> <laughs> I speak things into his existence. Got you, got you. You know, so my friend loves Drake. And I was like, for your birthday, I'm going um, to get you tickets to his uh, to his show or whatever. And she like, um... Okay, cool. So her birthday come around in August. So she's like, I remember you you go you told to ask your friend, can he and I'm like, let, let me DM my friend. I DM'd him and then when I opened up the DM, I seen that he told me happy birthday back in March and I'm like, What the fuck? I missed that? So then I'm so like So your DMs must be popping on a different level if you missed a, a, Drake, a DM. Drake DM. Come on, God. So I'm Don't... like, Man, I ain't know Drake told me. I'm like, Thank you, Drake. I ain't know you told me happy birthday. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. I love you. Da, da, da. <laughs> Is you really in my DM? <laughs> Drizzy. And he like, yeah. He like, man, I thought you just ain't fuck with the kid. I'm like, are you dumb? <laughs> the I guess I love you, like, whatever. And I'm like, well, my friend, you sent you, you know, you, now I'm feeling better. Like, well, my friend, birthday, you know, you coming here. We want to come, you know, backstage or whatever. And he's like, I mean, I got a 15-minute slot. I was thinking about hitting you, but you ain't never hit me back. But I was thinking about hitting you. Actually, did you want to open up? I said, motherfucker, what? <laughs> Do you what? <laughs> So then I'm like, damn, damn, <laughs> right? Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh man, this is even crazier. So I got ready. I met him. He was a sweetheart. We 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 went out to the casino that that first night. He was in town. Next night we ended up going, and I opened up for him, and it was amazing. It was amazing. That's something I will never forget. Mm. Just because it was like I was already at my lowest. And he's so up here, and he reached down all the way down there where I was feeling so sad. I was down. I had a heartache. You know, you got to think I'm sitting. It was like I was sitting in the house watching everybody play, and I just couldn't come outside because I'm just <laughs> grounded. in the house. I'm <laughs> grounded. You know what I mean? And then he just, the hottest nigga on the block that came and like, come on. That's all you and I'm like, all right. <laughs> so, you know, that that meant a lot to me. You know, and then, of course, when I, when I got free from my situation, and I was like, oh, wow. I've never been to Detroit. My only experience in Detroit is the Eight Mile. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell me what it's like growing up in in, uh, in Detroit. Give me some some hometown lingo. What's it like out in Detroit? Coney Island. I got Coney Island out here. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. What's your Coney Island like? Corned beef. It's a restaurant. They have an actual Coney Island. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. See, I told you I never been nowhere. See, Coney Island is a restaurant. Okay. Uh, you know, get chili cheese fries. What's your favorite food? What's my favorite food overall? Overall. Crawfish. Oh. I'm a craw I'm a seafood girl. Okay. I, right. like seafood. I know I like seafood. Crawfish. Crawfish yeah. is my favorite though. No, no, no. Well, I like the spicy kind. Okay, okay. With the butter. Yes, Listen. yes. Hey. Uh, okay, ready? Ready? What? Flats or drumsticks? Flats. It's a girl thing, bro. It's a girl thing. Flats. Don't give me no drum. Drums be too thick, man. 
Drums be too thick, and then it be having nah, too much meat on. Nah. <laughs> what are we eating for? Do you get full or not? What are you what talking about? I don't like drums, man. You like drums? <laughs> no, yeah. it's a girl thing. I swear to y'all. Y'all like eating like chipmunks. You just do. <laughs> I like the. No. <laughs> I don't like drums like that. <laughs> I'm just asking, you know, I posted on Instagram a while ago and I felt like everyone that said flats was a female. And I'm like, all right, I get why girls, it may not be ladylike to eat a drumstick and look like a beast in that, but to look like a little chipmunk. And like, no time it's easier, it's two bones. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's better. <laughs> okay, go ahead. More Detroit stuff. I need some more landmarks okay, in Detroit. Uh, you know, we, we, well, skating rings. That's what I'm thinking about. Skating rings. They still skate? Mm hmm. Okay. Yep, like Northland skating ring, rolling wheels. Um, Fighting, I fought a lot growing up. It was fun. It was a, it was a hobby. Fighting was a hobby. Oh, time, time, time. Yeah. <laughs> so I used to have I used to have fighting contests. So you in front of my house. You you was, use Fight Club and shit. I was bad. Bad how? Listen. <laughs> Why would you get into the fights? Who was fighting you? Was you sticking up for a brother or sister, or you was just popping most off? Most of the time, listen, I have uh, six of us. Okay. Most of, and I'm the oldest, so most of the time it was with my sister and brothers. They were crazy, but. Girls used to be mad back in the day, like they mad now. They used to just stay mad, and I used to stay whooping their ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. There's a lot of people that talk that talk. I kind of believe Cash doing when she says she's beating bitches ass. I, I swear to God, I put that on everything. It used to be lit too, and I used to I used to enjoy it. That was the crazy part about it. Like now, what you did you enjoy about it? Just because someone thinking that I'm a bitch and I'm not. <laughs> and then they find out I'm not by me whooping their ass. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, you tried me. Because I was, you know, just cute girl with a lot of hair. You know? It's like, ah, all right, whatever. But I'm about to beat your ass. And I'll do that. And then it'd be like they would want to be my friend. I don't mind being their friend afterwards as long as you know you can't fuck with me. Fellas in the room. Fellas in the room. Um, but I haven't fought and I don't know how long. Oh, no, no, don't, don't do that now. Don't do I that think. now. Don't do I'm that talking now. about growing up. Okay, all right. But you can still throw the hands if you needed to. If I have to, I will. I don't want to, though. I'm a boss. <laughs> you know? Okay, go on. You know, yeah. Like I said, somebody. So what is this Detroit, what is this uh, Big Sean thing you're talking about? It's the album, the recent album. Just Double or nothing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was on there. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. Big Sean. Yeah. And how, how'd that come about? He, he reached out he to you? He reached out. DM? D DM. I told you your DMs is popping. Look, Rick Ross reached out to me in my DM to do a free verse for me. Look, Remy Ma hit me up to come out for it when she came to Detroit. Shout out to Remy. Nikki DM me, you know, have conversation with her. I was supposed to meet up with her in LA, but it was at the Coachella and it just didn't work out. She was tired, I was tired. It's like, we gonna hit each other next time. So besides Cash, though, who's the next chick out in Detroit? Man, I don't even want to sound like that. La Britney. La Britney, yeah. That's my girl. Okay. She's five. We yeah. got a song together called Acting Funny. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But Brittany's five. Y'all need to reach her. She like talented, like how I think of Beyonce. Like she dance. Really? She's she's been hustling forever. Mm. She sings. Get she on rap there. fast and everything. Mm. But Brittany is five. Gotcha. Yeah. Listen, I enjoyed this. Um, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you for any, having me. Any last words you want to tell the people before we get out of here? Uh, just go get Brad Mill. Don't is everywhere. Cash doll, new single check, and it's about to be a fucking takeover. Um, just give them the Instagram if they're not already following you and all that good stuff. My Instagram is Cash Doll K A S H D O L L, and that's on every every social media there is. That's all my music is under Cash Doll. It's Cash Doll, I'm Noni Doll, and that's what's about it. Mm, I enjoyed this one. Thank you for coming, Cash yeah. Doll. This is the sit down, and we out. Shout out M Easy and tune in to the sit down. Cause it do it easy. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing.